So in question 5, we are asked to consider the curve given by y squared equals 2 plus xy. So for part A, we have to show that this equation is equal to this equation. And with that, we use in implicit differentiation. And using implicit differentiation, we use it to gather all the dy dx terms and then solve. So we're going to gather all of that is that we have to take the derivative of each side. It's going to be d over dx squared equals and then we simplify this part in the chain rule to this and then the product rule between these two we end up being y plus x dy over dx and since implicit differentiation we have to gather all the terms to one side we're going to do that right now so you're going to end up with dy over dx y minus x y and then we're going to divide by 2y for x we have to have dy over dx by itself cross it out so and therefore we have proved that dy over dx equals y over 2y minus x which is what part a was asking for. And that's your answer. So now we move on to the point where they like to know what points on the curve have a tangent like to one half. So to see that we have to set the derivative to one half to see what constraints impulse impulses on y and x. So we have our derivative, so part b derivative is y over 2y minus x and we have to equal that to 1 half so from here we cross multiply so you'll have 2y we equal 2y minus x and then with this this further implies that x must be equal to 0 so x must be equal to 0 and then with this we have to Put this into the original equation, y squared equals 2 plus xy, to find all the points on which the curve, on the curve where the tangent, where the line tangent of the curve has a slope of 1 half. So by putting your, this information to the original, into the original equation, we'll find those points. It's important to note that there's always going to be a positive and a negative. So the points that we have are 0 positive square root of 2 and 0 negative square root of 2. And these are the points on which it is tangent to the curve, to the curve of the slope of 1 half. Okay, so now we move on to part C, where it, want, where it wants us to demonstrate that there are no constraints or no such points where it's horizontal. So now we set up the derivative equation, which is y over 2y minus x, and we set it up to equal to 0 because we want to show that there are no points equal to 0. So then, therefore that means or it implies that y is technically going to equal to 0. But that's only for y, not the, well, 2y minus x does not equal to 0. So now we go back to the original equation. y squared equals 2 plus xy. And we put this information, y equal to 0, into that equation.
So then if we simplify, it would imply that 0 will equal to 2. And that is not true because 0 does not equal 2. So and therefore, we prove that there are no points or, or x and y pairs on the curve with tangent lines slope equal to zero. So because x does not equal two, we prove that there are no points on the curve where the line tangent to the curve is horizontal. Okay, so now lastly, we are in part D. And part D is just asking us to find the value of dx over dt at time equals 5, at t equals 5. And they have given us the time t5, y is 3, and dy over dt equals 6. So the way we write this equation, or this problem, is we have to first put in what we're solving for. So we're solving for d x over dt at t equals 5. And that is equal to dy over dt at t equals 5 divided by dy over dx at t equals 5. So the way we saw this equation is that we are already given dy over dt and that is 6. So this is going to equal 6. And dy over dx, we were given that too, which is y over 2y minus x. However, we're given that, which is y over 2y minus x, but we still don't know what x is. So what we need to do is we need to go back to the original equation and solve for x, which is y squared equals 2 plus xy. So that would be 3 squared equal 2 plus 3x and therefore you would have x will equal 7 thirds. So in the way we're going to write this equation again dx over dt to t equals 5 so you have 6 which will go 6 over 3 over 6x and since we already know what x is we just plug it back in that equal 6 over 3 divided by 6 minus 7 thirds. And as we simplify it, that would equal 6 over 3 times, because this is a fraction, times 11 over 3. And then you'll have that simplified to 22 over 3. And that's your answer.